Camden Puffer, <laughs> Jax Puffer, Jacek Puffer, Dominic Erickson, Matthias Erickson, Matthias Stick, Solomon Lee, Zachary Gasper, Milo Steck, and Judah Obergaard. The Revolutionary War was between uh, Great Britain and, and, the and the 13 colonies. By 1773, the colonists were fed up with how the British were treating them, especially when it came to taxes. First came the Stamp Act. Then came the Quartering Act. Now we have the Tea Act. These taxes are so high, people can't survive. This is taxation without level citation. <laughs> we can't let this continue. A choking George, what would think of these taxes? <laughs> Angry with the new tax on tea, some Boston colonists calling themselves the Sons of Liberty board British ships and dump crates of tea into the harbor. <laughs> The British were furious at this costly act of defiance. They quickly moved to pass the Intolerable Acts, but rather than keep the colonists down, these acts stirred revolutionary spirit to a fever pitch. On the evening of April 18, 1775, Dr. Joseph Warren learned of the British plans to march to Concord and arrest the two patriot leaders, Sam Adams and John Hancock and destroy the guns and ammunition the colonists had stored there. Warren sent Paul Revere on horseback to alert the towns of Lexington, <laughs> Lexington and Concord. Paul Revere was a great horseman, but also a cunning planner. He and his militia devised a system for alerting colonists to British attack. Since he wasn't sure he would be able to get out of Boston with the message, he made plans to alert people by putting lanterns in the Old North Church steeple. He would light one lantern if the British were coming by land, and two lanterns if the British were coming by sea. Starting the revolution was fired at Lexington, Massachusetts on April 19, 1775. This was a shot heard around the world. The battles continued from Concord to Bunker Hill, from Ticonderoga to Saratoga. The colonists were often outnumbered and had fewer weapons and ammunition than the mighty British Army, so they had to be more cunning. They would hide in trees or forests and attack from where they could not be seen. The Americans had to be sneaky and smart to beat the British. Don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me liberty or give me death. 
Sometimes the British would win. Washington took this group of rebels from a militia to an army and went on to win many battles against the British, including the final battle of Yorktown where the British finally surrendered to the Americans. Dedicated to those who fought for our freedom. Yeah!